Hey guys, this is like a, an impromptu video. I don't know if I should flip it like this. Oh, this is better. So this is an impromptu video and I just wanted to come here and talk a little bit about how you know, social media can be a really, really scary place. I currently like deleted all my social media that's like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, especially. I deleted them because I just found myself subconsciously, subconsciously um, comparing myself to someone else. I don't even know if I should use the word comparing, but I'll give you an example. So for example, uh, you guys know what I do, you know, I create these hair tutorials on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that and I've been trying to grow my following. So an example would be like coming across someone um, that's only been there for like a few months on Instagram and created a few videos and you feel like your content isn't even as good, isn't even as good as yours. But who am I to say that your content isn't as good as mine? Who, who am I to say stuff like that? You know. And at the end of the day, you like what you like. Period. That's what it is. But you know. So when I find myself doing stuff like that, thinking like, oh, um, her content isn't even as great as mine. She's only been here for two months and she somehow accumulated 42,000 followers and I've been doing this for years now and I can't even get past 4,000 followers and things like that so I just had to just delete my Instagram like I don't like thoughts like that and like I said who am I to say that her content this person's content isn't as good as mine who am I to say stuff like that people like what they like and they gravitate to what what whatever they want to gravitate towards and I know this is such an awkward time to delete my instagram because like i just launched a few products and things like that and but i just for my mental health i just need needed to get out there and um it's getting close to my birthday my birthday is july 6th that's in two days actually that's in two days and i'm on vacation with my boyfriend and i just said to i just wanted to stay off of it and like you ever feel like and also i wanted to touch up on um i don't really speak on I, I i i observe a lot of things but i don't really speak on it so i know a lot of people know about like the jacqueline hill blah 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 lipstick thing and i think a lot of people forget that no matter how much followers and fans and subscribers you have um, no matter how much of a public figure you are those people are still human beings and you're still allowed to make mistakes you know it's just so much harder when you make mistakes in front of the public eye and I just you know I see people like you know talking about it bashing her online and things like that and I think she like took down all her social media and I can't I don't speak on stuff like that I don't speak on people I don't do stuff like that because like I know I know that feeling you know because and I think people forget that at the end of the day she's human and she's allowed to make mistakes and I and I just you know I just you know, I say a little prayer for her because I just feel so bad. I feel so terrible. And I'm just like, like I said, I don't speak on it, but I just, I see it. I see it on my social media. I see it on my Twitter. And I'm just like, I just, you know, or like, for example, like, you know, other bigger celebrities like, you know, the Kardashians and the whole Tristan scandal and stuff like that and how she's feeling. And I think people don't understand that at the end of the day, this woman is human. She's human and she's allowed. Like, do you understand that celebrities are still human beings that can be immature, can act off of emotions and they are allowed to make mistakes? These people are human beings. And I, why are people forgetting that? But... I guess it's what it is, but I'm just here to like, you know, this little time off of social media is just to like reflect and I just need to stay off of it. It's just so many things and I'm such an I'm such an observative, intuitive person too. My intuition is super, super, super strong and I've, you know, I've managed to like create this platform where, you know, I can and inspire other women and create content and things like that and I seriously do enjoy it like I, I'm creating this without making really any money off of it because the purpose of me making it is not to make money from it but just to put myself out there inspire other women and things like that and 
I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for, you know, the, the support I get, no matter how small or how big it is. I'm very grateful for that. But I think it's essential to know when to step back and when to catch yourself when you start having thoughts like that, thoughts of comparing yourself to other people or having negative thoughts to a someone because she's somewhere you would like to be but you're not there and you don't know why she's there before you because you've been you feel like you've been working harder and working longer and you know just little things like i just try to erase it from my mind i'm just okay i need to stop this deliver my social media pick up my books and just read my books because this is not it right now so for my birthday on my website i'm actually doing like a i think 10 to 20 percent off i'll leave it down in the description box below i want to do like a 10 20 percent off of the entire purchase just for a little thank you from me to you guys thank you so much i'm forever grateful and yeah I'm turning 24 I'm super excited I know I'm still very young uh, because I have a career in my I have a career and in my job at my job I am the youngest person there and I work with people men and women that are like 50 60 years old 72 and I am the youngest like I'm, I am a baby and I'm so grateful to be around people like that to be able to learn from them you know not like suck up um from their experience you know just i'm always willing to just learn from them and just you know i'm just so grateful to be around that environment and being able to learn from people like that being able to learn from people that have so many experiences so i don't have enough space on my phone so my phone is gonna die but i don't know if anyone's really gonna watch this but i hope you can i hope someone can relate to how i'm feeling and you know so yeah it's just a little impromptu video and it's seven minutes now i don't want it to be longer than 10 minutes because i don't have enough space on my phone so i'm gonna stop this video and if you watch this to the end thanks for watching but i just wanted to write a little and i'll see you guys in my next video bye